Hello, and thank you for joining me once again. Today, we find ourselves thinking back to Detective Pikachu, a film about a boy coming of age, investigating the mysterious disappearance, possible death of his father, with his father's partner Pokemon, a Pikachu. And this Pikachu can speak. Yes, that movie's filled with Fun twists, turns, and mysteries, but the biggest mystery of all lies within the card set itself. And that mystery is why has it been so hard for me to complete this set? Today's gonna be the day. We're gonna finish it up today. I promise. This is going to be the last unboxing of Detective Pikachu stuff for the English set. So I got the cafe collection, I got the figure collection, the on the case figure collection, and I've got one of the Detective Pikachu movie promo packs that you would get if you saw it in theaters. So, thank you for joining me. Let's wrap up this set once and for all. All right, no funny business this time. No throwing the boxes around. We're just going to we're just going to dive right into it and open up some of these cases. So I'm thinking we're gonna save the Detective Pikachu movie pack for last, just to get that little promo, finish it off. We're on the case though. We're on the hunt for the rest of the set, really. So we're gonna wrap it up. Hopefully, just even in this case, the on the case figure collection with a very cute Detective Pikachu mini. Then on the other end, with the other cute Detective Pikachu mini, drinking his little cup of coffee, We've got the cafe figure collection, and some sharper eye viewers may have noticed the promo card in this one, the same as the promo card in this one. And I've shown them off in a different video, but these cards are also the same as the ones that you could get from the promotional events, such as the ones at Walmart, GameStop, Target, where you could just pick up one of these promo cards from each store. Difference is, they've all got the little Detective Pikachu stamp on them, so they're promo cards with variants, I guess. It's an interesting situation, but they share their promo card number with each other, whether it has the stamp or it doesn't. So yeah, let's just finally crack into it, starting with the On The Case figure collection. Slide them on out. I've appreciated this in the other GX boxes, but it's a very nice background that they've got going on here. Although, this, this photo is terrible. Why even pin it up? There's nothing in it. And let's release these cards and this man from his prison. We'll start first with the little Detective Pikachu figure. He's on a little magnifying glass. I didn't even notice. What a cute little detective. He's got his little hat. You know, he's got he's got that rigid the tail, letting you know he's a he's a boy, and I don't know how well you could see that, but they actually did make it kind of like rigid and make his fur texture a little rigid too, like to indicate that more realistic fur, I guess, instead of like the just straight lines that we're used to from the card art and the anime. That's fun, that's interesting. I like it. And we'll pop out the promos. So, of course, we've got the star of the pack, Detective Pikachu himself. Look at that shine. And that's, like, such an interesting Pikachu to me. Like, he doesn't look like that in the movie. Like, I wonder if this is some early test render or, like, what. But, like, all the other cards look kind of closer to how he actually looks. I don't know if that's just me, but that's, that's what I believe. <laughs> then we got Psyduck. The camera is absolutely seizing right now. Snobble, which I believe was the GameStop promo. And then Bulbasaur. All with their respective Detective Pikachu stamps looking fresh. So they give us three Detective Pikachu packs in this uh, big old box. A Burning Shadows, ooh, ooh, good pull. And then a Sun Moon base set. Five packs, hmm. I felt like there was gonna be more just cause like it was such a long case. Like I think there might actually be more 
cards in the in the cafe figure collection. Anyway, this is in my hand, so we might as well open up this base set with Incineroar. Code card for y'all at home. And get rid of the psychic energy. We're starting off with a croc o rock. Then bringing in a Brion, a Big Malsada, so that's what those look like. A Spiro, a Psyduck, an Eevee, a Picky Peck, a Meowth, an Alolan Meowth, of course. A Reverse Great Ball, I think I need that one, so that's good, that's good. And a regular Cloyster. Although I think I need this one too, so you know what, not bad, nothing to complain about. Then, let's do our Detective Pikachu packs, finally. The main course, you know. Because I think Burning Shadows is a good uh, transitional pack. So, Detective Pikachu packs. Pretty skimpy, they come with three cards each. So we start with a Licky Tongue, a Snobble, and a Jigglypuff. And a Mr. Mime. Okay, I was wrong. Four cards each. Mime, Mime, Mr. Mime. So nothing new there for me. Disappointing. But we do have a couple of cards left we need. Uh, Ditto, Machoke, and I think that's... There's one other. I'm sure I'll know it when I see it. There's only 18 cards in the English version of the set, not including promos. So it should be a lot less difficult than it's been. But... It has been a nightmare. So, starting off with pack number two, we got a Bulbasaur, another Jigglypuff, a Charmander, and a Slacking. I think that is the one, the other one I needed that I forgot about. All right, good, good. We've made progress. One last one that if this doesn't get complete, I have to break down and get it on e eBay because I cannot psychologically handle uh, doing this pack again. Then, Detective Pikachu. Final pack for the On The Case Collection. We're starting it off with a Psyduck, a Morlol, another Schnabel, and a Greninja. So, before we move into our cafe figure collection, we will break it into the Burning Shadows. So, it's a code card for all you back home. Another Psychic Energy, that's interesting. Just doubling up, the only energy we've gotten so far. Potown, I feel like that's good for my uh, Team Skull collection. Weakness policy. Heatmore. Alolan Radita. Porygon. Panpour. Pansage. Esper. Alolan Vulpix Reverse. I think I might already have that. And a Kingdra Hollow. I think I have that too. That wraps up the On the Case collection. It's time for the cafe figure collection. Oh wow, look at that. Well, little, little YouTube play button, golden golden play button. I see he's he's had big dreams, this detective. He wanted to be be an influencer before this whole line of work picked up. Yeah, the pack just a little damage, the box is a little damage, but what of it, you know? It's the goods inside that we want. I'm damaging it more right now. Oh, Pull this man on out. And there we go. There's that Detective Pikachu promo once again. Although, now that I'm looking at it, they have different hollows on them. This is like a lion streaked hollow. This is like a speckled hollow. Okay. Okay. That's cool. I like that. Which one do you guys prefer? I'm, I think I'm more this, the speckle hollow uh, man myself. Mainly because all the regular cards, I think, have this streaked hollow. Anyway, 
Another very cute Pikachu. Look at him. <coughs> Having his coffee. Sitting on a little stool. Backwards cap and all. Oh wait, no. It's just double sided. That's how detective caps are, I guess. Mr. Holmes would be disappointed in me. Anyway, let's they're friends. They are friends, all of them. Anyway, same type of beat here. We got a Burning Shadows, a Sun and Moon base set, a Detective Pikachu, uh, four Detective Pikachu packs. So the same as the last box, but with an extra Detective Pikachu, which is like, once again, so weird because this case is so much smaller than that one. But we'll just do the same, same type of beat again. We'll start with Sun and Moon pack. Code card. Rid of the darkness energy. Spicy. Now we're starting off with a nest ball. A polywhirl. A steeny. A lowland diglet. Bound sweet. Skarmory. Cutie fly. Drowsy Dan Schneider taking a walk on the beach. Reverse Bulldor. And a regular lantern. Sun Moon not treating us too well this episode. That's okay, that's okay. Because what we're here for are what lies inside these packs. Well, starting off with a Magikarp, another Bulbasaur, another Lickitung, and a Ludicolo. Cracking our way into another. Got ourselves a Jigglypuff, a Psyduck, a Magikarp, and an Arcanine. I think I already have the Arcanine, but still a very cool card. And we got another Jigglypuff. Another Magikarp, another Morlol, and a Detective Pikachu, the man himself. Nice to see, but not what I wanted to see. All right, on to the last Detective Pikachu pack. Let's go. So, just pull the code card up for you all. Charmander, Morlol, Bulbasaur, and Mewtwo. Well, I failed. I needed Ditto, and I think it's a Machoke. He's like directing traffic. I'm, I'm just gonna pick those cards up somewhere else and finish this set. But for now, we have our Burning Shadows and our movie promo pack, our theater promo pack. We'll start with The Burning Shadows. Proper way to cap off an episode. And here we are, code card. Pulling off the grass energy. And Bodybuilding dumbbells. Let's hope we get something out, good out of this to, to make me less sad. We got a semi poor with the Team Skull logo in the back, Soul Rock, Lonelin Volpix, Meowth, regular Meowth, on a walk, on the beach, Ryolau, Ryolu, yeah, that's it, Lonelin Grimer, Lediba, Reverse Sneasel, and on the back, a regular rare Weavile. I. I just don't know. <laughs> my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. No, it's not that serious. But time to close off the episode, open up this Detective Pikachu theater promo pack and uh, show you the promo Pikachu that came in here and say our goodbyes to this English set. I think I will do it one more time, but in Japanese. So, let's get it. Here he is, enjoying a stiff cup of coffee. 
might already have that. Might be the one that comes with the DVD. And then a Magikarp. And then just some promotional garbage. Yeet. Okay, let's let's take a look. Uh, collect all of them. Collect them all. So, oh wait, these are just the the promos. Um, but yeah, I got all these guys on lock. Let's see what else they're advertising. Unbroken Bonds at the time. Let's go Pikachu. Let's go Eevee. Oh, Pokemon anime. And the, have you seen the movie? Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this mind-breaking episode of Detective Pikachu whatever we're opening with all this Detective Pikachu stuff I opened. Um, I've opened pretty much every piece of Detective Pikachu like boxes. I've opened up all the G GX cases. Now these on the figure cases. I think the only thing I never bought was the big old lunch box with a bunch of packs in it. But it is what it is. I'll complete the Detective Pikachu set uh, on my own time uh, through various means. Various means. And uh, give you guys a binder update when, when that's all done. Then... I also have uh, gonna want to open up a booster box of the Japanese version of the set because there's a full art in there and I want it. It's very nice. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Please remember to like, comment, let me know. You know if there's any sets like this that have been driving you mad, that have been trying to complete any of these special like mini sets, m maybe holiday sets, and. Uh, yeah, subscribe while you're at it too, and come back, see me on the next opening. Thank you all so much for watching. I've been Glitch Cinder. See you on the next one.